What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use image maps to drive your material surface roughness. Whether you're trying to create weathering effects, fingerprints, or wear marks, controlling your surface roughness using an image texture can help add a new level of realism and greater flexibility to your projects. To demonstrate this, we're going to add some fingerprints to the model screen by using one of Keyshot's included fingerprint textures. I'm going to start by opening a material I'd like to add a roughness texture to. In this case, I'm using the glass screen. I'll open my material graph for the material, then locate my fingerprint texture under the texture tab in the library panel. I'll then drag and drop my texture of choice into the material graph workspace and connect my new texture to the roughness input of my material. You'll immediately notice that the fingerprint texture appears on the model screen. But if you look closely, the area where the fingerprint is visible is very smooth, while the rest of my screen surface has become slightly rougher. Since most fingerprints are typically rougher than the surface they sit on, I'll need to invert the effect by adding a color to number node between the texture map and the roughness input it's connected to. I'll then hit the hotkey C to color preview my texture and get a better look at what I'm working with. Notice that with my material applied, my image background appears black while the fingerprints themselves appear white or light gray. It's important to be aware of this because roughness in Keyshot is best controlled by color values between black and white. A pure white typically signifies that the roughness effect is entirely turned off, while a pure black signifies that the effect is entirely turned on. This can be witnessed by the fact that there is no roughness where the white fingerprints are located. To invert my roughness, I'll simply invert my output from and output to values so that my background becomes white and my fingerprints become gray. Then I'll adjust my input to value down until my fingerprints become visibly black. And once I exit my color preview, you can see that the roughness has inverted. At this point, I can dial in the fingerprint and background roughness by adjusting the output values to match my vision for the effect. Although this example specifically demonstrates how to create fingerprints using roughness, the same principles can apply to any texture you're trying to create. All you have to do is understand how values and roughness work together in Keyshot, and you can easily control any roughness effect in any of your projects. Hopefully, this quick tip makes creating photoreal textures just a little bit easier. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below.